I have creative inspiration by way of a layout share, some of my favorite layouts that I've made over the past few months. So if you wanna see that, stick around. It's coming up next on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. Welcome back to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. I'm Victoria and here I share all things scrapbooking and crafting. If that's something you enjoy, click that subscribe button, click the bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time a new video is posted. Today I'm going to be sharing a few of my favorite layouts that I've made over the past few months. So if you're looking for creative inspiration, stick around. Also, you can find still photos of all these projects on the Victoria Marie blog. So make sure you click on the link in the description. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First up are a couple of eight and a half by 11 inch layouts. This one's called Simply the Best Moments. For this layout, I want to keep things really simple. Now, I have a lot of pocket cards in my stash. In fact, I actually narrowed them down a little bit, but I have quite a bit that I could still use. I decided to create this simple grid design. I have one pocket card that has journaling on it, and that type journaling you see was created using a text box in Microsoft Word. In fact, I'll have a video where I'll show you how I do that, and that's printed on vellum, and I just adhere that right to the pocket card. The bottom pocket card has a layered cluster, just some die cuts and a little bit of stamping. And then my photos are resized to three by four. And this is me drinking coffee and reading a book while I'm waiting for my daughter to finish her dance class. In fact, this is something that we do all week long and has definitely become a part of my parenting journey, at least for right now. I love how this layout came out. It's clean and simple and it gets straight to the story. The next layout is called Grateful for This Tween. And for this layout, I used a Hip Kit Club kit. And in that kit, I can't remember which month it is, but in that kit, it had these really cool wood veneer embroidery hoops, which I thought were so cute. So what I did was I just cut off a piece of those little wood veneer. Well, one is an embroidery hoop. The other ones are just wood veneer circles with them with some designs on it. So I cut them to make them look like they're going off the edge of the page. I also created some layered clusters using some die cut flowers. And I created my own little vellum butterflies by heat embossing with white heat embossing powder. And I use a butterfly stamp to create those butterflies. And because I didn't have a lot of room left <laughs> to put my title, it fit just above that tag there in a vertical fashion. And then of course I have my type journaling that I print on vellum. So it makes it look like you have printed directly on the page. So I love the way that that came out. And that's about my daughter just making funny faces. Now we're going to move on to 12 by 12 inch layouts. This one's called She Calls Me Momski. And I usually try to do an annual Mother's Day layout. And this is what this was inspired by. And for this project, I used a Hip Kit Club kit. And in that particular kit, it came with these cute little fabric pockets. Now, usually when I have an element like this, I only use one of the item because I try to hoard it. <laughs> so I decided, you know what? No hoarding. Use the pockets. So I used four of the pockets. I think there's six included in the pack. And I also created some layered embellishments coming out of the pocket and also layered on top of the pocket. And those pockets are also um, popped up a little bit with some dimensional foam. And I just love the way that that looks with the die cuts and whatnot. I created another small cluster by the photo of my daughter and I. And then I reached into my stash and grabbed some sticker fonts. One is a tile font and the other is a puffy font to spell out. She calls me Momski. Now notice how there are ellipses after the word Momski. That's done on purpose because the title's actually a part of the journaling where I go on to say that she calls me Momski, Broski, Momsicle listing kind of all of the nicknames that she calls me. So the, the title then becomes a part of the journaling experience. So I love this layout. It's probably one of my favorites that I have made recently. Next up is another 12 by 12 inch layout called Art Life. This one I made with my favorite collection of the year, which is the uh, Simple Stories Simply Vintage Lemon Collection, Lemon Twist Collection. <laughs> it's a long title. It features a lot of lemons, yellows, uh, that beautiful turquoise in black and white. This is a photo of my daughter and I when we went to a local museum. And what I did was I mounted the photos on six by eight pattern paper that comes with the collection. And on the pattern paper on the left hand side, it had this really fun graphic on it that had this layered cluster and a doily. And what I did was I took my cutting knife and I cut along the edge of that doily. That way I could tuck my photo in there and I thought that just gave it a really great effect. I pulled some sticker fonts from my stash. I also have used this little butterfly which is already designed to be layered. So, you know, work smart, not hard. <laughs> and then I added some dimensional elements on there and I called this layout good. I just love these colors and they play very well off of my photos. And of course, I love the story as well of my daughter and I exploring one of our favorite museums. 
Next up is another 12 by 12 inch layout, and this one's called Home Sweet Home, where I'm documenting a story that actually happened almost five years ago of my family and I moving into our very first home that we built. And of course, that was a momentous a time. And so what I did was I chose some of my favorite photos and I went ahead and made a grid design in Photoshop and I added the journaling underneath the photo so it printed off as one large element. When I create a layout like this where the photos are taking center stage, I don't like to do a ton of embellishing because sometimes there's just not a whole lot of room left. So for this one, I used a lot of beautiful pattern paper layered. I also added some texture with some stitching. And then I added this large cluster, which is actually covering a duplicate photo on my grid, which I didn't realize was a duplicate until I printed it. And so I fussy cut a whole bunch of little flowers to create that large cluster. And then opposite of that, I have a smaller cluster with some die cuts. So this is more of an asymmetrical design. I love all this beautiful pattern paper. I love that gingham check. It's just gorgeous. And this is a really great design when you have a lot of photos and a grid like this. We don't over embellish, but you do just enough embellishing to make the layout look fantastic. Next up, this layout's called Cheers, year to 41. And every year, if you've been following me forever, <laughs> then you know that I do a layout about my birthday every year. And this year I turned 41 years old. So I'm using some more Hip Kit Club, Hit Hip Kit Club goodies. Good grief, say that fast 10 times. What I did was I went ahead and printed all my photos and those were roughly three by three inches. And I just selected what I felt were the highlights of that particular day of my birthday. So me blowing up my candle and laughing, sitting down, relaxing, reading a puzzle or doing a puzzle rather. I took a picture of a gift that my mother gave me and then I of course of course I got a really cool graphic t-shirt because I love my graphic t-shirts and I went ahead and put that on and wore that for my birthday. I have some small clusters there at the top again nothing too major. Went ahead and created this really fun title using a die cut as well as those really awesome stickers puppy stickers that came with the kit. Did a little bit of hand stitching and called this layout good. This layout is called Beautiful Live in the Moment. And as you can see, this design style is a major departure from what you probably see me create here on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. I actually created this layout to review some product that I was sent from a shop called Trey Jolie. I had the pleasure of meeting the shop owner when I attended a trade show called Creativation this spring. And we start talking about her subscription kit. And I said, Hey, how about I grab a kit from you and I do a review on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. And so when the product came, I thought, Oh, this is so beautiful. I love all these beautiful flowers. Those are from Prima. Um, there is the pattern paper, I believe is from a company called 49th and market. And I just had a lot of fun adding texture, distressing the frame. I add a little bit of texture paste. I did a little bit of stenciling and stamping and just had fun creating those gorgeous layers. Now in the past, I have experimented with the shabby chic look and it's not something that I do with any level of regularity now, but it was a lot of fun just to explore with that style of scrapbooking. And the last project for this layout share is called Create. And this particular layout I created to celebrate my second year on the Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine design team. Not only am I on the design team, but I also do some contract projects for them as well via teaching classes and whatnot. And it's just so much fun. I wanted again to make sure that the photo was front and center. And I also wanted a really cool title. So I used this cut file that's designed by Paige Evans, who is also on the design team. And I decided to do a dipped effect using some distress oxide ink. So notice that I just colored the bottom portions of the letters in the title. And then to bring the focus in on the photo, I created some nice high impact layers with uh, die cuts, floral die cuts that is, a little bit of butterflies, just to kind of frame out the photo. And then to kind of bring it all in, I added a little banner at the top that says, wonderful. This was the graphic that was used by Scrapbook and Cards today. And I just pared it down a little bit, printed it out and slapped that right on my layout. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this layout share. To see still photos of this project or of the projects that are featured in this video, make sure you head to the Victoria Marie blog and let me know in the comment section which layouts are some of your favorites. And of course, I will be sharing more of my projects projects coming soon. Hey, 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 before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. When you do click the bell, that way you'll be notified each and every time new content is posted. I'll see you in the next one.